perfect. What's good, y'all? Back again here at the Glendale Mall just to come and check out these Jordan 8 playoffs and see what else we can come across. You know, we got a lot of stuff to check out. Watch all the way to the end, hit the like button, share the video, and check out BossGoesGoodies.com, you dig? Back at Big Sporting Goods once again. Currently 9.53 a.m. Jordan section, as soon as you walk in, pretty decent. No retros, but they do have some solid, you know, picks. And they have definitely changed their wall for basketball season. Let's go ahead and dive in and see if there's anything new here. First off, we got the Oreo colorway of the Sabrina 1. Either Oreo colorway or just black and white. 130 on the retail for these. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. I think it definitely is impressive. And uh, at some point, we're gonna have to grab a pair of these Sabrina 1s. New colorway of the Cosmic Unity 3. I'm telling you, this shoe is definitely on point. Cosmic Unity 3 should be somebody's signature shoe, but it's not. Don't know what that 22 stands for. Maybe that's when the Cosmic Unity originated. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comments, and do you see yourself picking this up? Now, maybe I should be telling you, and I'll get more information, but what's up with these Moolah shoes, these basketball shoes? I've definitely seen them before. Not too familiar uh, the history of them or even the specs, but if you guys like these, let me know your thoughts. They do have a few colorways here in them. If you know about them or want to hear more about them, let me know in the comments below. So we got the Brianna Stewart's in a couple colorways. Shout out to her, hooping for the New York Liberty. This is the newest colorway. I haven't seen this one just yet. Let me know if you guys are feeling this colorway. Sabrina and Brianna are definitely coming with it when it comes to their basketball shoes. 124 on this one. Let me know your thoughts. We got the Adidas Select Mid. This right here is pretty different. Does remind me of a few other silhouettes. Let me know if you guys like this one. This blue colorway is pretty interesting. 130 on the retail. They also have it in red and white as well. So there is some colorways in this shoe. So here's more of the Nike basketball shoes and Jordan shoes. We do have a new Jason Tatum. This is the Halloween edition for him. So we got the Halloween jaw. We got the Halloween Harden. We got the Halloween Jason Tatum. And do you guys see yourself <laughs> adding it to your collection? You see how I caught that shit, y'all? They definitely did their thing on the 37, especially on certain colorways. I like the color combination on these. Price point's a little too high for me. 200 bucks, but the colorway is not bad. And they also have the FIBA colorway of this 37, or 38, excuse me. We've definitely seen these before, but uh, I do like the colorways, and the shoe is pretty nice. Team colorways in the Tatum 1, Luca 2, Zoom GT Cut. Tatums that we've seen, as well as these Fire Luca 2s. Let me know if you got the Nebula colorway. Definitely one of the best ones for the Luca 2 so far. Immortality 3s. We've definitely seen these before. This is actually one of the latest, newest colorways of the Zoom Freak 5. And at this location in Glendale, it's already 25% off the 129 price point. Not a bad selection here. Not a bad price point either. Most recent release of the uh, LeBron 20 NXXT, the next gen, not a bad colorway. 160 on the retail, latest Jason Tatum one as well. And then when we slide down, we have some team colorways of the Curry 10, which we definitely have seen before. But I do believe this is something newer, or is this the oldest model? The two-way V3 Vintage, this one right here retails for 119. Is this the one that the boy from uh, Denver plays in, Jamal Murray? Not quite sure, I don't think it is though. Let me know what you guys think about this New Balance basketball sneaker. And this colorway is not too bad either. 119 as well on this one. Let me know what you guys think. Different vibes, translucent outsole. Kind of skipped over this because I thought I'd seen it before. So many of them look alike, but this is the Zoom Freak 5 and the TV colorway, the black and white colorway. Not mad at these, 130 on the retail. We definitely try these on. I recommend going up a half a size or a full size. I think in these. Actually, I think this might have been true to size for me. I do like the way this leather feels around the toe box. These are not as narrow. Most Nike basketball shoes lately, you have to go up a half a size. But I don't recall, if you guys want to check back to my video, I think these were true to size. Maybe these were going up a half a size and the Lucas were the one that were true to size. I think that's what that was. Definitely seen this Tatum one in the varsity red team colorway and in the black and white colorway as well. They also have the latest retro release, the Air Jordan 8 playoffs, man. Wore these against my boy Barkley. 
Definitely a fire colorway. Definitely classic. Looking good in hand, too. The quality is definitely on point for these. Are you guys into the nostalgia feel for this shoe? Or is it an easy pass for you? Comment down below. These are definitely fire. Damn, remind me of what they were like when they first dropped, man. I can't even lie. Can't even lie. Will this be an outlet special? I think not. Will these sit around? It's kind of hard to say. Apes don't really move like that. These are definitely on point. I like the sock liner, 210 on the retail. They went up a little $10 on it. I'm trying to make sure they get their bang for their buck on them, but I'm not mad. Very, very classic shoe right here, man. These are one of the ones that started it as well. That one of the shoes I wanted but couldn't get this one and the white one. I love the straps on this Jordan 8. I don't know why a lot of people don't like the 8 strap. I like it. Wow, uh, these are fire, I can't even lie. One of 10, maybe even a 10, I'm not trying to be, I'm not a prisoner of the moment, man. These are classic, bro, such a classic shoe right here. Wasn't really surprised to see that, but kind of shocked to see them here. They got them in men's and grade school. Let me know if you guys picked them up or not. Over here in the women's section, we got these Asics right here, 160 in the retail with the pure gel. This colorway is not bad, that's why I picked it up, ladies watching. Let me know if there's something you guys would wear for running. Jordan or Max in this new blue colorway. We've been seeing these around a little bit more. They've been giving these a lot of different flavors and color options. Let me know if you guys like this silhouette at all. Peek by the gray school section to see what they had. And this colorway is definitely not bad on the Air Max 97. I like this color combination. I don't know if this is gray school exclusive or not, but what do you guys think about it? A solid new balance selection here. 574 89 bucks. New balances usually always have some good quality on these. These new balances are pretty dope too. There, this one is definitely on point. The blues is fire. The materials 89 bucks in the retail. Let me know what you guys think about this 574 colorway. And then here's the most recent, I guess, or well, one of the most recent Air Jordan 1 lows besides the Bretto that's out now. Perfect time for the holidays. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. Just inside Adidas real quick. They be tripping about recording, so I gotta be low key. New colorway of Harden 7 that we saw last time. Let me know what you guys think about these. Let's go ahead and check out Shoe Palace and just see what their selection is like. They usually tend to have a better selection of Jordans and stuff like that. New spin of the Vapor Max Plus. Definitely not a bad colorway right here. What do you guys think? If we find these somewhere on sale in my size, I might have to grab these. These are pretty fire. Definitely an impressive Air Force One. Let me know if you guys like this color combination on this one. As you guys see, they have pandas in the background too. Halloween Air Force Ones. Pretty creative on this, but it's an easy pass for me. Let me know if you guys like these or not. I feel like this penny doesn't even get touched, man. Definitely dope. Pretty clean colorway right here. And they do have a few sizes left in this Zoom generation right here. This eight and a half in hand. And they still only have this eight and a half left of this Hirachi, the Laker Kobe one, not bad. Basketball section here as always, a lot of retros available. Triple black for this Team Jordan shoe right here. They still have some of these Jordan 2s on deck, which are not bad at all. What do you guys think about these black cements? Did you guys pick up a pair, or was it an easy pass? Jordan 11 low IEs. This colorway is not too bad, man. Finally good to have CDs in hand. What do you guys think about these? Jordan Stadium 90s in a triple black colorway or black, you know, black and gray. Not bad, 140 on the retail. They got them also in this suede La Envo green or pine green. Not a bad situation here. And of course they got the dope one. This is what we're here for, the Jordan 8 playoffs. Truly a classic shoe. This is definitely one that shouldn't be slept on. Probably just bad timing, especially for that 210 price point but definitely like the original colorway. Jordan 7 Chamray. Did you guys pick these up or were they an easy pass for you? A lot of good shoes here to choose from when it comes to Jordans. Not sure if we've seen this colorway right here. 120 on the retail. What do you guys think about these in the comments below? The quality material shoes on here is definitely on point. Another combination on this uh, form low. One or actually 99 bucks on the retail. Not a bad situation here. Give me your thoughts in the comments. The comfort over here on the women's side. Let me know if you guys feel this color combination here. Still got these Berlines on deck for the women. Jordan 1s. Jordan 2 low UNC to Chicago. Red laces in these definitely look on point. 
new flavor of the Jordan Stadium 90 for the ladies right here, 139 in the retail. They definitely need to drop the prices on these. I think they would move a little better. And then as I said before, one of my favorite, actually the favorite Jordan 2 Low that has released so far in 2023. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Cacao 4 still here on deck too. They do have some sizes available. In hand is a six and a half. And this is that location with the uh, Scoot Henderson, both colorways, 140 on the retail for this one. And his second colorway right here is 129. Not too bad on these. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. What do you guys think about these Basquiat trucker hats? Shout out to Basquiat out there. Pretty good selection of some hats here too as well. The 13th merch is kind of dope. Got Jason on the back. I'm not really into Halloween like that, but this stuff does look pretty dope. I've been seeing them posting stuff online. The graphic for Chucky, this shit is pretty hard though, to be honest with you. Just not really into that stuff myself. I mean, we all know about the classic Chucky and Jason. Watched them as a kid. Look at that one. The bold stuff on the back for Child's Play. Actually, this one is super hard. Stop by Champs really quick. Nothing really new here, but you definitely don't see this LeBron Next Gen too often. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway right here. We talked about the um, Witness 8 in the face colorway. Here's the Next Gen in the face colorway. Not mad at these at all. You guys know this location does have men's sizes of the Jordan 8 playoffs as well, along with a other selection of retros. Real quick, I had to get in here and get out because I don't want copyright music, but I'm over here at the Funko store and they have they don't have Kyrie's man I don't see no Kyrie Funko's Lucas Iverson's LeBron's Dame Lillard on the Blazers which might be worth something now because he's going to a new team uh Anthony Edwards Durant Shaq Ben Simmons Gordon Hayward and no Kyrie over here Larry Bird Scottie Pippen all-star or USA Dream Team Scottie Pippen that's fire damn but no Kyrie if you guys see something where a Kyrie Funko pop if you guys find a spot that has a Kyrie Funko Pop somewhere, let me know. Comment in the comment section below where I can find a Kyrie Mavericks Funko or Nets Funko or Cavs Funko. Of course, comment down below for me. Now, let's go ahead and see what's inside JD Sports. Look at this. They got these on deck. Now, this is definitely one that people are still going after trying to resell. What do you guys think about these in the comments below? Actually pretty fire. Pretty nice selection right here in the front. This place does have the Jordan 8s as well for these uh, playoffs, man. Definitely fire. We've seen them four or five times in the video already. Pretty mean selection here, especially them dunks. The women's section really quick. They do have these, which we just saw at the last location. Just saw these. And then look at this Jordan 1 mid. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this or not. These are kind of different, look more cheap than anything, but uh, I like the color combination, black, gray with the silver hints. For the women out there watching, let me know if you guys are adding this to your collection or is it an easy pass? Retail for 135. Then they got these two, which we've seen a different type of spin with the same colorway. This one seems to be a little different finish on the paint job, white, and this mauve colorway. And then you got the sail midsole, if I'm saying that right. Pretty clean though, let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Put that same colorway on this Jordan 1 Low. I'm not mad at these. These are all for the women. Rate these from a 1 to 10. 115 on the retail for these. Maybe because they're using a little better quality. But let me know what you guys think about these. Seen these online a little while ago. Now they're finally here in hand. What do you guys think about these? Air Force 1 Wild. The color combination is pretty unique. Retailing for 140 bucks. Midsole texture just a little bit different as well. Got a little bit more spring to it. These might be a little bit more comfortable than normal Air Force One for sure. Let me know what you guys think. Got this Air Force One right here. Definitely seen this before. Not a bad colorway. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I think we've seen this before. The Dunk Low Twist and the Panda colorway. Yeah, we have seen these before. I believe they restocked on these. 120 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Definitely seen these last time at JD Sports. I like this color combination. What do you guys think about these compared to the ones behind them? Which blue do you guys like more in the comments below? It definitely fall vibes on these. Vapor Max Plus for the women. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination in the comments below. 210 bucks, same price as those Jordan 8s. New colorway on the Air Max 270. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. 160 on the retail. Not a bad color combination. 
Nike Air Max Furiosa. This is definitely different. Some futuristic stuff right here. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. Or are these just easy to pass on? You got two air bubbles, a thick midsole. Definitely a crazy looking shoe. What do you guys think about these? Not bad materials. Color combination not too bad either. 110 on the retail. Different colorway on this campus low. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Got the gum outsole and these retail for 110. Air Trainer, we've seen these before. I believe these are great school exclusive because I have not seen them in men's sizing. 100 on the retail. Let me know if you guys like these or not. And they do have sizes left in this gray school job one. I'm sure during the season, which is right around the corner, these might pick up. But I see these all over. Definitely saw these last time. Let me know if you guys are feeling these dunks at all. Easy pass, but uh, maybe you might like them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Retail them for 90 bucks. I think I remember seeing this Air Max 95 before back in the day. Maybe not. I like the color combination on these. 175 on the retail. This is definitely not a bad colorway for the Air Max 95. Definitely like this one a little bit more, but they're both fire. Out of the two colorways of the Air Max 95, which one do you guys like more? And of course, I got that one that's pretty dope too. You got the On Running Cloud Monster. This one's not a bad color combination. 170 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about the on running shoes if you guys have tried them before. New Balances right here, 2002R. Definitely a fire colorway, retailing for 150 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Definitely fall time vibes on this. I like this one. Got this great colorway right here. Also, I think we might have seen this before. Retail is 150 on this one as well. What do you guys think about this 574 right here? $95 on the retail. Not a bad color combination. Then we have another colorway, new colorway of the P6000. I like the way these shoes look, maybe at some point. Don't see no urge to grab a pair now, but I do like the aesthetics of the shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these, and if you own these in the collection, you know, give us some information about them. 120 on the retail. We've definitely seen the triple black before, as well as this colorway. Let me know of the three colorways, which one do you guys like more? I definitely think this one has a different little touch to it. Adidas Rivalry 86 Low. This one's not bad. The maroon colorway, maroon and sale, if you will. Retailing for 100 bucks. We've definitely seen the green one before. The superstars, gazelles that we've seen, some campuses. Pretty decent Adidas selection here. A lot of the shoes that we have seen before. Haven't seen this color combination on this shoe. Normally 190 down to 100 bucks. Iridescent splash on the boost right there. Let me know if you guys like this color combination. Got these classic Cortez in this obsidian blue and white colorway. 90 on the retail. What do you think about these? Don't really show too many bands, but this colorway is not bad. I like the materials used on here. $95 on this on this uh, sneaker. What do you guys think about these? I definitely will be showing more shoes, more brands, more colorways. So just stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys do enjoy that. Lowe's, the white and Dodger blue or that like cucumber colorway. Which one do you guys like the most? All of these are pretty basic to me though. The combination and materials are dope. A lot of people say they remind them of Kanye dropouts. Let me know if you guys like these or not. New colorway of the LeBron Next Gen. This right here is not bad. The white, black, and gray color combination is pretty dope. They do have the Witness 8 and KD 16s here as well. But I like these. These are definitely dope. What do you guys think about them in the comments below? Definitely seen these before. What do you guys think about this colorway of the Immortality 3? Definitely one of the newer releases. I think it's pretty fire. And this location has a few colorways of the Jar 1. The Hunger, the Emerald Glow, and the Smoke Gray. But there is no uh, Halloween just yet here. We've seen that. If you guys want to check out the review, go ahead and watch my video on my channel. You dig? Style of Air Force 1, 130 on the retail. Not really a fan of these, but you might be. This color combination on this shoe is just on point in my opinion. 145 on the retail. Saw these at the last one. New colorway on the craft. This must be like the high to the Jordan Low craft that we've seen with the olive colorway. Yeah, this is the, the Jordan Low I was just talking about. It's probably the low top edition of that. Maybe not. What do you guys think about these in the comments below though? A lot of people like them. We did reels, we did snaps, and people was on these right here. Different look for this Air Force One. Are you guys liking this or is this an easy pass? Definitely a different style. They trying anything to get these things to move. Definitely a different style. All leather, kind of different. 150 on the retail. Must be. A, it is a premium as well too, so you know got good quality. This colorway is not too bad, and these also have a translucent outsole. Reduced price on all these shoes here. Pretty decent selection of stuff here. 
We definitely seen these before. I like the color combination on this Dunk Low. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. By far, the uh, this blue colorway is probably the best one of the three. So now over here by the Grove, about to go check out Nike on this gloomy day. Let's go ahead and see what they got in there. This Nike, like I said before, always has pretty good returns and some good merch too. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this location. Hit the like button, share the video, and of course, don't forget to visit BossMuskoodies.com, dig. On feet, I got my Jordan 11, 72, and 10. One of the favorite Jordan 11s in my collection. Sorry, Nike really quick. Nike Glendale. Check out their return section right here. Look at this. Something that you definitely don't see everywhere. The Drake Nocta joints. These are actually the best colorway of the Noctas. First time actually seeing these in hand, and I believe the only way I would see these in hand is going to the OVO store, or I don't know, finding a return here at Nike or the outlet. What do you guys think about this colorway? Marrows and some colorways that we haven't seen in a while. This gray colorway is definitely on point. I like this color combination here. They also have a triple black, and they have like this premium Air Max Plus. Really good leather quality materials. Never seen these for never seen these before or knew when it actually released, but they are pretty cool. Solid selection right here. These right here is pretty dope too. What do you guys think about these? Definitely gives me college dropout vibes. These before had another location which I thought was pretty dope at uh Santa Monica Nike. Not a bad situation. Really good leather quality, translucent also. More returns here, more on the women's side, or just more. I don't know if these are necessarily women's side, but these are smaller sizes. Definitely seen this velvet Nike Dunk Low before, pretty clean. Not mad at those too. Then we got these Romero's, which we seen before. Seen these only online. It's definitely a smaller size that you guys can see. Let me know what you guys think about this Romero 5 right here. These are definitely impressive, man. I like those shoes for sure. Down here, nothing that we haven't seen really. Even these, got a return pair of these. I like this color combination on this one as well. 110 on the retail. And you guys can see what else they got down there. Pandas and some other dunk lows as well. We definitely came here before and there hasn't been any really new additions to this side that we can really talk about. New colorway on the Nike Zoom Alpha Fly 2 Next Percent or Next Percent 2. This colorway is definitely different. What do you guys think about these? Retailing for $275 on the retail. And this might be the best shoe on the wall right here, this Dunk Low. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below as we wrap it up here at this Nike and Glendale. Definitely haven't seen this jaw one in a minute. This is a great school exclusive colorway, $90 on the retail. What do you guys think about these? You definitely don't see this LeBron 20 too many places anymore either. What do you guys think about this colorway? What do you guys think about these shirts in the comments below? This blue LA one, not a bad color combination. Got the patch on the side here too. It's retailing for 50 bucks. That's the one part that's always bad. Got some patches for these LA hats here. $35 on here. Got the brown ones over there. Decent selection of hats here at this foot locker. Give me your thoughts on this 2002R. Not a bad color combination either. 160 on the retail. Of course, good materials, just different. Let me know if you guys like these or not. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. colorway of the Giannis Immortality 3. Definitely an interesting colorway of all the ones that have released so far. Let me know what you guys think about this one and this is a colorway that you guys would cop. Definitely pretty fire. Triple black colorway of the Giannis Immortality 3. They got some pretty dope colorways here. This triple black is not bad. All black shoe, real sleek. This location only seems to have gray school. We saw these like four or five days ago. Still only gray school sizing available. Let me know what you guys think about this LeBron 21 in the comments below. LeBron Witness 8, black and white colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these. 
LeBron Witness 8 Laker colorway. Oh, this is the FaZe Clan, just like the second colorway for the FaZe Clan edition. Let me know if you guys like this one or the first FaZe Clan edition better, better. Two different colorways. Not bad. Let me know which one you guys like more. So here goes the box for the LeBron. LeBron logo. LeBron, half of the LeBron logo. Lion. Not a bad box. Got that purple colorway on here. LeBron Witness 8. First time seeing this colorway. Comes with extra laces too. The Vogue Green or that green just to match the air bubble, which is clean. Gonna take the other one out. One got the LeBron logo on the tongue, and the other one got the Phase Clan logo on the tongue. Definitely a dope colorway of this Air Max 95. Classic vibes, of course. 175 on the retail. Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What? Easy. 